All right, we got Gabe Kapler. Gabe, lots to go yet in this season, but you're going to celebrate and enjoy this one, I'm sure. Yeah, and no, I, I think it's totally fine to take a step back and, and recognize that we accomplished something special. So I've got a pretty strong echo in my ears, but I hope that's coming out right. No, you're, you're coming in loud and clear. And, uh, and look, look, this has been a group where nobody thought the Giants were going to win this many games or clinch this early. But you have to be as happy as a man could possibly be right now. I'm really pleased with the performance of our group and and more than anything else I'm just so proud of them and, and uh, their preparation their process on a regular basis. It's a group that's very tight um, very unselfish and that's why we're here. Well let's talk about this. I mean it, it, it seemed to me that every time somebody said that this couldn't be done. You guys got a little chip on your shoulder got a little bit bigger. Did you use that to motivate these guys. I think the players have led the way the whole way um, even from from spring training they set out and, and said that they wanted to win this division and we were just here to support them. Uh, we've got a long way to go and a lot of work to do uh, but what they've accomplished thus far is, is definitely worth celebrating tonight. So you're going to go back in the clubhouse and you're going to tell them let her rip have some fun tonight. I'm just going to support whatever they want to do. <laughs> they want to celebrate um, certainly behind them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, we'll, we'll be celebrating right along with them. And I and I guess also Gabe, you got three veteran guys in there that have done this before that I'm sure some of the younger guys will watch. That's a great place to start is you know watching how Craw and Pose and and uh, the captain Brandon Belt um, <laughs> and some other other veterans do it and we just kind of take cues from them. All right. well, uh, one of the things you get to do tonight, I mean, I, I, one of the perks about winning a championship or qualifying for the playoffs in San Francisco is you're so close to wine country. So once you right. celebrate with that, it's going to be pretty good. There, there's going to be plenty of wine in the clubhouse, I'm sure. And uh, for guys like uh, Tyler Rogers and Bud Light, for me personally, I've got some scotch ready. So I'm going to go enjoy it and uh, we'll toast to you guys. All right. Well, look, I'm sure you're very <laughs> excited to get back into the clubhouse. And toasting to us is a great thing, but. <laughs> But we certainly would like to toast to your group. It's uh -huh. been a great group to watch. It really has. Great. Glad to be here with you guys doing this. All right. Thanks, Gabe. We got Buster. Hey, Buster. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are y'all? Wasn't it just 2010 when we were doing this? It, well, I don't have the. I didn't have the gray hairs like I do now. So it's it's been a while. Yeah. Well, there's been a few moments in between now and then that cause gray hairs, including having two sets of twins mm. at home, which can do that. But. <laughs> How proud are you of this group? I mean, you're, you're, you know, you and Belt and Crawford, you've watched these guys. They've really come together. And the thing that I'm impressed, no jerks in the clubhouse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, really proud of this group. I think, <clears throat> you know, at the start of spring training to ourselves, we, we set out, obviously, to make the postseason. And we had, you know, another goal in mind, which is still out there for the rest of the year. We know we've got our work cut out for us um, with, uh, you know, the division. But I'm um, really proud of what we've accomplished. Um, I mean, as far as regular season teams go, for me, this is this is number one. I mean, with the, the way we've played this year from start to finish has uh, been nothing like I've been a part of. Well, I, I, let's go back and talk about how 2010, I mean, your very first time going through the playoffs at the big league level, it's a very memorable event. How different is 2010? Now you're 2021, you're an established veteran, you've accomplished so much in your career. How have these these cha champion, well, the, these championship runs, how have they been different? Yeah, I mean, as you guys know from playing the game a long time and, and calling the game for a long time now, I mean, I, I think the game's constantly changing and evolving and um, th those teams in 10, 12, 14, 16 uh, were great teams and uh, th this team's right there with them and um, I mean it's been pretty well documented how the game has changed uh, over the last five to seven years and I think uh, this group uh, has done a nice job of adjusting to it with some veteran players making adjustments and as well as some new guys coming in and uh, you know playing the game the way that that really it has to be played now. You know, I mean, it's just uh, I think today's a perfect example of, of, of us, right? We we used a bunch of bullpen guys and, and only gave up one run, and that's that that's effective now. Well, we're going to let you go, Buster. Thanks for stopping by, and congratulations. Another really nice run, but I know. In your mind and everybody else in that clubhouse and the manager and coaching staff, there's still a lot of work to do. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. And now we got Farhan. Farhan, you with us? 
Yeah, I'm here. How happy are you, Farhan? Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Pretty excited to put that T-shirt on and and really enjoy watching those older guys and young guys celebrate. That's what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, you know, obviously a lot of us are drenched, but um, I also got some food stuck in my teeth. So sorry if I am looking funny here. Yeah. Well, you know, there isn't many opportunities where players get a shot at the boss. <laughs> and uh, and I figure champagne on somebody's head or a beer on the boss, I think that's a good thing. And, and, I, and I hope you took that as a compliment. I did take it as a compliment. I mean, they were having fun. It felt like there was a little anger in it, too, though, which was a little <laughs> concerning. But uh, it was all in good fun. It's no, a never great anger. moment. Never anger. <laughs> so, Farhan, what we'll gets you more excited? Watching your team go to the playoffs for the first time under your... Uh, leadership or having your fantasy football team score over 200 points in week one? Well, I would have to think about that one and get back to you because they're both pretty sweet. <laughs> but let's talk about this accomplishment because when you took over, you, you know, you didn't say this is a three-year or a five-year rebuild. You didn't say any of that. You know, it's like we're trying to win now and here you are three years into it and, you know, you're on the doorstep of doing something. Well, actually, you accomplished it tonight. No San Francisco team, no Giants team has ever clinched it. In sep by as early as September 13th. So congratulations on that. Yeah, I mean, it's just a testament to uh, the veteran group of players that we had. You know, like you mentioned, I think there was some notion that this team was um, due for a rebuild, or and we never used that word because we just believed in that core group of veteran players that we have. They're winners. They've all won championships and had a lot of success. And, you know, for us to be able to build around them and bring in a lot of guys that complement them well, that's kind of created the group and the culture that we have today that's been so successful to this point. Obviously, there's, 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 there's still a long way for us to go. Well, before we let you go, I'll give you this one last shot to really uh, – Give some props to your manager and the coaching staff and to all the people that work in the analytics department. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's a great payoff for them. And I'll say, you know, even last year, I mean, you guys know we came as close as you can to getting to the playoffs without getting there. It was really heartbreaking. So there's some validation for this group. And, you know, really happy for Gabe, obviously somebody who I've known for a long time. Nobody outworks him, and it's a great moment for him and the entire staff. We have the best coaching staff in baseball, and they are a huge part in the success of this team. So really right. thrilled for that. Game. All right. Thanks, Farhan. We'll both be smiling going across the bridge tonight. Way to go. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, guys. All right. You told me one time that when you interviewed Farhan, he told you that he was going to try to be competitive. He didn't believe in a full rebuild. Tear it down. But when you interviewed him, did you believe that this could happen this quickly? It's hard to believe that you get to, you know, 93 games with 18 to go, right, Alex? Uh, it just, you know, it, the whole thing just came together. It's come together so beautifully this year. And, you know, Farhan's and Scott's amazing roster management with their team. And what Gabe has done and the coaches and the players and the grit and the determination, this is the definition of grit, this team. And so you savor it. And it, it's kind of cool because, you know, can't afford a hangover, right? We want to go get the division. So you're going to have the, there's going to be a lot going on here in the next 18 games to, to fight for a division. And hopefully that'll keep us sharp for the playoffs. We know there'll be a, a playoffs. Um, I don't know if you're a big fan of fan graphs. <laughs> they said 5%. Uh, in February for the Giants making the playoffs. So uh, <laughs> that's... They have high odds for you guys. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's terrific. And, it's, and so where, where we need to go is um, stay as focused and as determined as we've been, you know, for, for the first six months. Let's make the seventh month just like that. You mentioned the Dodgers. Obviously, they have been one of these stories in baseball the last few years. They've been the team in your division for eight years and have won the division every year. As an ownership group, as an executive group, what is it like just to see you guys catch up to them this quickly and make it a two-team race? Well, it, it kind of goes back to what we talked about when, the, when Farhan came aboard, which is you don't take a year off. And if you can make a lot of moves and quick moves and kind of put, put together a full roster, you never know what, how, it can, how it can blend and, and just come together. And so it means a lot. Um, you know, we've got a long way to go. We'll be disappointed if, uh, you know, if we don't uh, keep playing for quite a while. Do we have the captain, my captain, oh, my captain with us? Yeah, captain's <laughs> here. And uh, is the captain, he, he was taking this stuff pretty serious, wasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, like I had said before, it's, uh, you know, you tend to, I wouldn't say 10, but when you make the playoffs a lot, 
um, when you first come up, you, you, it's easy to take for granted. But after the last five years, that's not something that I'm going to do now. And it's, uh, it's a pretty special moment for sure. Well, is it more fun for you to be a rookie and go through it? Or is it more fun for you as a veteran to watch the rookies go through it? Uh, you know, I'd, I'd say it's probably more fun for me now. Um, you know, the first few times or the first time you go through it, you're kind of in uh, a, a daze, I guess. Everything's a little overwhelming. Um, but now I get to kind of sit back and, and watch everybody enjoy this. And, you know, there's, been, there's a lot of guys in there that have never been to the playoffs in the big leagues. So it's a special moment, and it's awesome to watch them go through it. Well, i got to tell you something. You not removing the duct tape was awesome. I, I, I Look. We've known you now forever, right? I mean, you started out as the baby giraffe. Now you're the captain. I mean, think about that. And uh, and I just thought the way you handled it, and in, 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 it, it was perfect for Chicago. <laughs> Day games in Chicago, you, you got to have some fun. And then you provided that. So I just want to tip my cap to you. Well, thank you. I, I Honestly, I wasn't going to wear it, but uh, the entire team told me to. And when, and when Cap uh, told me that I cannot take it off, that's when I kind of went. Um, you know, full on with it, and it was a lot of fun. I'm just glad it ended up working out. If I struck out four times, it wouldn't have been that great. <laughs> well, a home run and a double, but <laughs> it, I, I thought it was fun to see you go out there with it on your on your jersey. But your comments afterwards were so hysterical, and uh, I mean, you you held uh, uh, you kept in character. I mean, you 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 were the captain. It was it. I mean, and that's 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 my life right now. And if nobody else is going to build me up, then I'll do it. And were, <laughs> were you really the first one off the plane? I was. I told everybody to sit down so that their team captain could get, could get off the plane. It's, a, it's about respect, you know, and you got to <laughs> teach these young guys about respect. And, and should you not have been the first one allowed on the plane when you got on the plane in Chicago? Yeah, absolutely. You know, usually I, I've been checked by security a few times, but now they know you didn't. You know, when you're the captain, you don't get checked by security. You get on the plane <laughs> and everybody waits for you. So um, thankfully, thankfully, they, they learned a little respect. So All right. good for you. We'll leave it at that. All right. Thanks, captain. guys. All right. You bet. Well, we go from the captain to Mike Yastrzemski. Mike, you waited a long time to get to the big leagues. Now a, a long time to get into the postseason. What are the emotions you're feeling right now as you know you're going to play October baseball? Uh, just excited. I, I think this is a really cool moment, and I'm trying to enjoy every second of it because you don't know if this is the only time you'll get this opportunity. So just getting to, you know, see these guys be excited and have fun and be able to celebrate with my wife and um, you know we're just thrilled to to be here and be in this situation so we're we're just enjoying it right now one thing I've heard from guys over and over again today is that this is just the first step obviously you guys have a much bigger goal for the regular season how do you stay focused the next three weeks same way we've done all year um, we've been so even keel and you know almost emotionless to where big moments are the same as small moments as you know just a uh, High leverage, low, low leverage, it doesn't matter to us. It's its a game. We're going to take it one pitch at a time and have fun and um, just enjoy playing with each other. We obviously just had Brandon Belt on here. You tied him briefly in home runs tonight. He comes right back and hits the next one. Take me inside the dugout tonight when you guys are going back and forth. Um, you know, when he hit his 23rd, he came up to me and said, you know, I remember what it was like when I hit 22. And uh, he, he didn't say anything tonight, but I, I'm sure I'm going to hear it tomorrow. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things that we get to have friendly in-game competition where we push each other and, um, you know, it's just that uh, fun, friendly banter. Mike, congratulations. You have a couple more weeks to keep up with Belt. Um, we'll see if you guys can do it. And, and obviously a big test the next couple of weeks. Dwayne, we'll go back to you. Well, we're going to talk to another guy. We've got new T-shirts made out. It's called Let's Interview the Old Guys. <laughs> <laughs> not that funny, huh, Brandon? Maybe not? No, that's funny. Is it? Okay. Yeah. All right, good. I'll take that from you anytime I get it. So tonight has been fun. The whole year has been fun. But, uh, but nobody's buying the fact that anybody thought this team was going to be at 94 wins right now. But they did it. And, uh, and you guys have to really be enjoying the moment. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, going into spring training, obviously, the goal is to make the postseason. So, um, you know, we, we, we hit that step. And, um, you know, now, now the goal is to win the division. So Yeah. I mean, I don't think anybody's fooling other teams that are watching saying, uh, you know, we're celebrating because we made the postseason. This isn't the end story for you guys. Right. I mean, we're... We're celebrating because, I mean, it is an accomplishment to, to get to the postseason. Um, and, and we're all happy about that. But, Absolutely. Uh, but, yeah, the job's not done yet. Nope.
We listened to uh, Tyler Rogers talk about uh, the calm that uh, he watched Tony Watson and Jake McGee veterans go about their work. And that really is one of the things that you veterans have brought to this club, the calm. Uh, when you are in this time of, of, of the year in September going into October, how important is that calm? Uh, I mean, you know, you know how I get. I get real riled up and excited sometimes <laughs> on the field, so I, I need that calm. <laughs> but do you, do, you, do you pride yourself in bringing that, that to the yeah, clubhouse? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think um, you know, the young guys who maybe haven't been in this position before, um, can kind of look to, to myself or Buster or Bell and um, just kind of see that that kind of relaxed, calm uh, attitude that, that a lot of us bring, and, and maybe it'll help them, um, you know, get through these, these big situations and, and not uh, to put too much pressure on themselves or anything like that. So when you go into the clubhouse or when you went in the clubhouse, are you making sure that Buster and Belt are having a good time? <laughs> they definitely are, especially Belt right now. He, Is he? Yeah. He, he told everybody, um, great job tonight, especially especially him. So <laughs> he pat himself on the back pretty good tonight. Has yeah. he been doing that a lot lately? He has. He, he's, he's definitely uh, embracing that, that role of captain that he appointed himself. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm seeing a big change in him all of a sudden, and, and I'm not sure. I, I guess I like it. <laughs> But uh, but he is being a little bit different. It's, and, and it's, a, it's a belt that a lot of people haven't seen before. I think it's uh, you know we've seen it for a long time, um, but but uh, he uh, he's definitely embracing that right now. Well, he he's embraced a, a nice home run tonight, and uh, and thanks for stopping by. Well, you guys have one of the older players on the roster. I have one of the younger players on the roster. The youngest pitcher in the rotation, Logan. This is your first time having a celebration like this. Take us inside there. What's this like for you? Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I, uh, you know, I asked, I, I, I said something to Carl about it. I'm like, is this, you just get kind of used to this, I guess, because of what, what those guys have done. But this is, this is awesome. So much fun. What have the older guys told you about celebrating moments like this and making sure you take a moment to realize what you guys have accomplished? Uh, about celebrating something like this? Not much, honestly. Like, I kind of, you know, I was asking a couple guys in the ninth. I'm like, hey, what do we do? Do we run out there like it's the World Series? Or like, I, I just didn't know. And I just, uh, um, I asked, I, you know, I talked to Gaz about it a little bit, but no, this is, this is great. We got a lot of work to do too, so it's, I mean, a couple more times, you know. <laughs> Have you potentially wrapped your head around? It? throwing in the postseason, starting a postseason game, whether it's, you know, I know you guys don't want it to be in the wildcard game, but whether it's the NLDS or beyond? Uh, I mean, that's all I really want. As a baseball player or growing up, that's all you want to do is pitch in the postseason and in, in, in the major leagues, and I'm super excited about it. Um, you know, it's, uh, like I said, we got a, a lot of work to do and a long way to go, but... This isn't this isn't what we were really going for. It's it's we got the the NL West the title to go for and, and a lot more. So I'm super excited. It's just the beginning. All right, Logan, you got the first one out of your way. We'll let you go celebrate. Dwayne, back to you. We've got Evan Longoria. Evan, there you go, Evan. How you doing, young man? I'm excited. You are excited. You should be <laughs> excited. I mean, look, you came here with the. The thought from Tampa that this was going to happen, and eventually it has, and you were a big part of it. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm definitely very excited. And are you happy? Was it fun in the clubhouse? It was. Yeah. It's been uh, it's been quite a while since I've uh, been able to feel the burn of some champagne and uh, and a postseason celebration. So um, although we know that um, you know there's there's a ton of hard work in front of us, um, we're definitely enjoying tonight. You enjoy watching the young guys who've never been through this before. I do. I do. Um, I I mean, I was probably right there with them, though, man. It's been, like I said, it's been, oh, you're one of the young guys. It's been quite a while, so uh, I, I enjoyed it, uh, you know, just as much. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Longo, one of the things that all you guys are talking about is the contribution your coaching staff has made. Was it really nice to be able to let off some steam in the clubhouse tonight and spray them and uh, and, and, and encourage them to celebrate because of what they've meant to this club? Yeah. I don't think they needed much encouragement. Um, you know, they were they were definitely wow. ready to celebrate. Went to the but, World uh, Series when he was 22 years old. 
We, yeah, that was uh, Greg. So well, ignore <laughs> Greg right hey, now. Hey, Greg. Um, yeah, but um, I mean, they they uh, they've definitely worked their tails off. Um, you know, I think it comes through. Um, you know, when you watch the game, I mean, obviously you don't know the the work that they put in when you're when you're watching as a fan or, or as a broadcaster. But um, I mean, tonight's a perfect example of of just having a really good plan going into the game against Darvish. Um, and, and just being able to execute it. And, and um, the collective group effort um, from the coaching staff has, has paid dividends for us, um, you know, night in and night out. Well, in the spring training and early in the year, really every month, no rider around this country has given you the props that you, you really have earned. Does it finally feel good to be able to look back at everybody and say, hey, we told you so? No, I would never say that. I would never say that. But um, I mean, really, all that matters for me is like the the what the group thinks in there. And and um, from the beginning, um, we we had meetings in spring training, and and there was just a ton of belief um, that that we had the ability to play the way that we've been playing, and um, and be where where we are um, at this point of the season. And like I said, there's there's still a ton left to accomplish, but um, tonight has been. You know, pretty special for me, pretty special for the guys in there, and um, we're, we're, we're definitely going to enjoy it. Well, we're glad you're back, so way to go. Thank you. Congratulations. Enjoy tonight, by the way. I will. The rest of the I day. will. I'm, right. I've started, and I'm going to continue. All right, keep going. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, so Alex, who you got? I have a catcher who basically never loses when he catches, so we knew the Giants were going to clinch tonight because Kurt Gasol was in the lineup. Kurt, what was it like just guiding a bullpen game through this night? Uh, you know, obviously it's not ideal. Like we, we would love to have Alex out there and, and Johnny, but you know, it, it, it is what it is. But um, you know, I, I think Tom Leone has done an incredible job of setting the tone the three times that he's done it. And you know, honestly, everything after that just kind of fell into place. I think Listella's leadoff homer was huge. Obviously, Evan hitting that three-run dinger in the first, I think, was uh, you know, it set the tone for the rest of the game. But. Uh, you know, and, and after that, we could be aggressive in the zone and, and just kind of go after the, uh, the Padres hitters. But they, uh, they did a great job. I didn't do a heck of a lot. The pitchers did, did most of the hard work. You were very complimentary in spring training of, of a lot of your new teammates, particularly some of the pitchers. But did you see this coming? Did you see a season like this as a possibility? Oh, for sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know if we predicted it to happen this early. Um, but, you know, the way the season has been rolling, we... You know, the, the chemistry in that room is just out of this world. And, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people just say that, but it, it truly matters to our team. And, you know, we, we love each other. We pull each other uh, for each other all the time. And, uh, you know, we, we had a goal early on, uh, you know, cap set in spring training to win the NL West. And that, that was that was the goal. And that's not an unrealistic goal. Obviously, you know, L.A. and, you know, San Diego and the rest of the people in the division are, you know, talented teams. But. You know, at the end of the day, all we can do is worry about ourselves and, and, and play our game. And, and, and we've been doing a really, really good job doing that. We do hear over and over again, it's just an incredible clubhouse, a very close-knit group. Gabe said that tonight, a very tight group, a very unselfish group. How would you describe that to fans, what you're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis with your 25 teammates? I don't know if there's a great way to describe it. It just, it just seems like Farhan and Scott just literally constructed this team with a bunch of solid dudes, and you know, I, I hope I'm one of them. And uh, it, it, you know, uh, for, for me personally, you know, it, when, when you have a team that's led by guys like Buster and and Longo and Craw and, and Belt and people who have been there, done that, it, it's 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 a huge weight off the shoulders for the for the other guys in the group. So that's that's a great starting point. But I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't have a whole lot of other words to describe it just we've been playing great baseball we, we we pull for each other we're very well prepared like we're very very well prepared our coaching staff is unbelievable and uh, I think that gets lost in the conversation too but uh, you know we just doused the entire staff in there just like we, we just we let them have it because they they would they will honestly work harder than we do and it, it shows because you know we, we we feel as prepared as anybody on the field well I will let you get back in there douse some more teammates and coaches Dwayne back to you and we've got Jake McGee who's standing outside the clubhouse and and Jake, I guess the obvious thing is to say is this never gets old, does it? No, it really doesn't, especially with a group like this. Uh, everyone's so close from our staff to our players to front office, everyone, you know, to just accomplish something like this right now. You know, it's you know, we used to have a lot of business to do, though. You know, you've been through it before. Is it fun to watch the young guys that haven't been through it before? Yeah, some of the guys don't really know what to do. And then you kind of get <laughs> stuck in the middle. Some guys can't figure out how to put on their goggles and get, get burned pretty good by champagne. <laughs> 
Jake, are they dancing in the streets in Sparks, Nevada right now? Oh, I'm sure they are. <laughs> Well, let's talk about this accomplishment simply because you were such a long shot coming out of spring training. And as you gathered momentum as each month passed by and you had great month after great month and, and still nobody would jump on the bandwagon. Does it feel good now to be able to say, ha ha, we are better than what you said we would be? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I think everyone in the clubhouse believe that too, going into spring training and saying, you know, we can win the win the West and go for it. And, and then, you know, we haven't really let up all season and kind of, you know, just, just making the doubters believe us now. <laughs> you know, you've been on a lot of different teams and a lot of different rosters. Have you ever seen a roster that performs to the point of the next guy standing? One guy gets hurt and another guy steps in. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. No, I don't think I've seen anything like this either. It's, we're so deep and, you know, in so many different positions and we have two different lineups and, you know, a lot of guys have a lot of rest and it's, you know, it's been good, but guys filling in and, you know, even our bullpen, we've had guys up and down but every time they come up they have success well you've clinched September 13th that's the earliest that this franchise has ever clinched but yet there's so much more to be done do you think it's an advantage going into the playoffs that that you have to keep pushing have to keep striving to try and win this division yeah I think so for sure especially all the close games we've been in you know that this last few weeks down the stretch I think we're going to you know we're going to be ready to go for the postseason and you know our next goal is to win the division obviously so all right, thanks, Jake. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of the night. All right, thanks. I do. We go from the ninth inning to the eighth inning, maybe multiple innings in the playoffs. We'll see. Tyler, this is your first celebration like this. Just first take us inside the clubhouse. What's that like? Man, it was, it was, uh, it was crazy in there. It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a first experience for me. And uh, it was just it was very, very memorable and, and something that, that uh, hopefully, you know, we get to do again. You came out here soaked already. Did you do that to yourself or did somebody do that to you? <laughs> you know, I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's some champagne and some Bud Light mixed in on the shirt today. <laughs> you lead the National League in appearances. You've been really the most trusted reliever for Gabe Kapler the last couple of years. He'll throw you in any situation. We saw that over the weekend. How do you feel physically and, and what are you prepared for the next three weeks and then now into October? Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, I feel fine physically, um, and then just really prepared for m most much of the same, really. And uh, you know, we got a very unselfish bunch in there, and we're all just ready to, to do whatever they ask of us. We just saw Jake McGee here, obviously one of the leaders of the bullpen. We know Tony Watson does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Those guys have been deep into the postseason. What have they told you about what to expect? Yeah, I, just, I really have been leaning on them really all season with their experience, and everything, and and I think. Really, what I, you can take away most from them is not so much what they tell you, but you can watch them and their calm demeanor and how they go about their business every day. All right, Tyra, we've heard a lot about you and your Bud Whites this year. I know there's one waiting for you here, so I'll let you get back to that. Thank you and congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you.